it should be done. Ye that are spiritual should restore your brother or sister in the spirit of meekness. There ought to be a desire to help the wayward brother and to win a lost sinner. It is impossible as long as we have a judgmental and critical attitude, it's impossible to win our brother when we have that bitter spirit. When we walk in love, we will be in the business of building up and not tearing down. Now, it's not wrong to confront a person when he sins. It's not wrong to confront a person when they do you wrong. In Leviticus 19 and 17, it says, Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. The Bible says in Proverbs 27 and 5, open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. How do y'all know Judas betrayed Jesus with a deceitful kiss? In Matthew 18 and 15, it says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against you, go and tell him his fault. Tell him between thee and him alone. And if he shall hear you, thou hast gained your brother. But if he will not hear you, then take with you one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. If he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a public. The Bible says in Luke 17 and verse 3, take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trans trespass against thee, uh -huh. rebuke him. Yeah. You have a right to rebuke him. Yeah. And if he repent, forgive him. Uh -huh. I hit the wrong key there. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We have a hard time forgiving yeah. folks. Yeah. We have a hard struggle forgiving people. Yeah. But the Bible say if that person come to you and they repent, they come and tell you that I'm sorry. Uh -huh. The Bible said forget it. Yeah. Didn't say so. Yeah. And you got a bad spirit in you when you can't forgive that person that's asking you and begging you for pardon. Begging you for forgiveness. How dare you hold a grudge against somebody when God can hold all your sins against you. I can't get no amen. One sin, you can't let it go. But you got a million that you've done in your lifetime. And you want God to forgive you of your sin. But it says if, if you love your brother, you will confront him when he is wrong. If you hate him, you will not. You have no business hating somebody. Refusing to confront a person about the sin is just as wrong as a doctor refusing to confront a patient about his sickness. Amen. What's the use of going to the doctor when the doctor, Mother Jane, won't tell you what's wrong with you? Am I right about it? Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Here you are sick in your body. And the doctor that you're sitting up under, you're asking him to diagnose your problem and he won't even tell you oh, what it is. Well, refusing to confront a person about his wrong is the same way when it comes to a doctor and the patient. And if you want to understand what Jesus said in Matthew 7 and 1, you must understand uh, John 7 and 24. Uh -huh. 
In John 7 and 24, it says, Judge not according to the appearance, uh -huh. right. but judge righteous judgment. Yeah. Wow. Come on and say, righteous judgment. Righteous righteous judgment. judgment. Don't look at folk and then throw the judgment on them. All right. All right. All right. Because some folk are not blessed like you are. Yeah. Come on and say, help me, Lord. Yeah, Lord. In other words, don't look at the book and judge the book by the cover. Yeah. Somebody say yeah. yeah. Uh, you cannot judge a tree by its leaves. Yeah. And you cannot judge the tree by looking at the bark. Yeah. But you got to judge that tree yeah. by looking at his fruit. Yeah. Can't judge that book by the cover, mm. but you got to get inside that book and look at the contents Amen. that's in that book. Yeah. 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 One day, if I can just paint another picture, My right. My there was a lady in an airport uh -huh. who bought a book to read and she bought her a package of cookies. And she decided to eat those cookies and read that book while she was waiting for the plane. She went over and took a seat. And she took a seat in the terminal and began to read the book. After a while, she noticed that a man came by and sat one seat away from her and uh, he was fumbling to open the package of cookies on the seat that was between them. He even got the cookies and he was fumbling with it and trying to open this package of cookies. Well, uh, this lady she looked at it, yeah. and she couldn't hardly believe her eyes that this total stranger yes, sir. would just open her bag of cookies and start eating her cookies. Oh. Somebody say, help me, Lord. Yeah. When he got that bag open, he took one cookie, and then he ate it. She looked at the man hot. <laughs> she reached into the bag herself and took one cookie out of the bag and then she ate that cookie. Yeah, yeah. Well, Say yeah. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She reached into the bag and she got one herself and she ate it. Yeah. And look at these two having a cookie walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She just couldn't believe her eyes that this man who's a stranger eating her cookie. Yeah. The man looked at her but didn't say anything while she was reaching in to eat them cookies. She reached in that bag and got her a cookie and he reached over and took another cookie also. And this woman thought to herself that she wasn't going to let him eat all of her cookies. So she saw him get a cookie out of the bag. So it was like going back and forth. You get one, I'll get me one. I'm not going to allow you to eat up my cookies. Look at those two not saying a word, but they saying things in the action. My Lord, my Lord. This woman said, I'm not going to have it. She thought to herself, she's not going to let him have all the cookies. So when they finally got down to one more cookie, help me out, brother. Lord. Come on. The man reached into the bottom of the bag and Broke the last cookie in half. He ate that last cookie, that half of a cookie, 
and glared at the woman. Got up and left, and that was in the bottom of the bag that last half a cookie. She was thinking to herself, this man is fresh. Look how arrogant this man is. Soon, the announcement came and said, it's time to get on board. She been sitting in the terminal long enough. It's time to take flight. And this lady went and got on the plane. Still hot and bothered about that man. This man had the audacity to eat some of my cookies. This man had the audacity to open my bag of cookies and didn't even ask me for no cookies. While she sat down, she bought her seatbelt. Then she reached into a purse to get some tissue out of her purse. And when she reached in her purse, she looked and saw a bag of cookies. I ain't getting no way back. Somebody say hey. What are you saying, Brother Pastor? There are several reasons why people tend to judge and criticize her. a little bit better, at least in our own eyes. It adds to our own pride. It adds to our own ego. It adds to our self-image. Criticism is often enjoyed. There is a tendency in human nature to take pleasure in hearing and sharing bad news what killed me and mother. Say praise the Lord. Say yeah. yeah. Sometimes criticism makes us feel that our lives are, are better than the person who failed. We forgot when we failed. But when we criticize, in other words, criticism, Build us up in our own pride. Criticism helps justify the decisions we have made and the things we have done throughout our lives. We reduce our decisions and act by pointing out the failures of others. Help us at criticism. Criticism points to our friends, how strong we are. Criticism gives good feelings because our firm beliefs and strong lives are proven again by our brother's failure. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Criticism is an outlet for hurt and revenge. We feel that the person deserves it. Sometimes we say to ourselves, he hurt me so, so he deserved to be hurt. I'm glad he got hurt. So we criticize the person who failed. Praise the Lord. Can I go up just a little bit high? Separate the Lord. Criticism is a bad thing. And here is the invitation. Have you been guilty of passing judgment to other people that don't like you? Has the Lord 
spoken to your heart about this matter. If he has, you need to make it right and get the law out of your own eyes. Say yes, Lord. Have you been unjustly judging other people? Have you forgiven?